How are you all doing? It's Ben from EQL Networks and Security. And today we're gonna to be looking at this and setting up a Hikvision license plate recognition camera. The benefits of using such a camera is that it's a dedicated camera designed to capture license plates. We get asked a lot of the times, you know, I wanna capture license plates from an overview camera with a 2.8 mil lens. You simply can't have a wide angle camera and then try to capture number plates. It doesn't work that way. Yes, you might be able to capture that license plate during the day, and if that car was stationary, but at night it will be impossible. So let's take a look at the Hikvision license plate recognition camera. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you how to configure this LPR camera uh, and give it the right setting so you can capture day and nighttime number plates. So first thing you're gonna do is jump into configuration. Once we're in configuration, uh, we'll actually jump to video and audio. So what we'll do is we'll change our frame rate to say 25 frames per second. You can actually use 15 frames as the bare minimum, but the higher the frame rate, the better. We'll then jump into image, go into display settings, and then you'll see something here called mounting scenario. You wanna change that to row to give it the optimum results. Um, if we go into image adjustment, we can leave that as normal. Um, most of the times these settings are, are good to go, but you can adjust those if you want. Exposure settings, what we'll do is we'll set it to one over 1000. Uh, reason we wanna do that is we wanna capture images a lot quicker um, and snappier. So the moment that car comes through, it captures that image and also doesn't allow a lot of light to go through, which is a very important when the car is coming head on. Um, so you'll see those, the headlights coming into glare uh, and potentially blur out that number plate. Focus, we'll set that to semi-auto. Day and night, we want to set that to triggered by video uh, from auto. The reason we want to do this is that the camera, when headlights approach, can jump in between color and black and white. Um, by setting it to triggered by video, uh, allows the camera to switch in between that black and white color mode uh, a lot more quicker um, than it was if it was set to auto. With the smart supplement light, we want to change that to off. What we want to do is we want to have the maximum IR um, out of the camera to hit the number plate and then reflect back so the camera can actually see that number plate and capture it more effectively. Backlight settings, we can leave as is, white balance, leave as normal, same as image enhancement. Uh, video adjustment, we could probably set that to outdoor um, just to give you a, a better picture as well. If you're doing indoor, you can set that to indoor, but we'll leave this for outdoor. Um, next thing we'll do is we'll jump into the road traffic tab. So this tab up here, you'll see detection configuration. We need to enable this to say vehicle detection and make sure that box is enabled. In this box here is the actual place where the number plate will be captured. So we can set that area by simply clicking on one of the lines and moving it up and down to the settings. Now you can move that left and right and then simply hit save and then it re draws the box as to what's the captured area. Um, other things worth mentioning here is we should change this to city street if you're trying to capture a road or outside your property or wherever it is on a, a main road. Um, this will give you a more accurate results compared to the entrance and exit, which will produce um, still accurate results, but it'll do it a bit more quicker. Um, but for city street, that's the best option there. And then for your number plates, you want to set it to your appropriate region. In this case, ours would be Australia and New Zealand. If we go into the picture tab, um, you can pretty much leave this as normal. Um, camera tab in the device, you can change it to the name of the camera you want. So it could be ABC Street LPR camera or whatever you want to call it. Next tab here, we've got black and white lists. So this is a pretty important, pretty cool feature that allows you to enter number plates um, and allow it, for example, if you had a boom gate, if you have that number plate whitelist, it can open that boom gate. Um, just if it's blacklist, it won't open that number plate, uh, won't open that boom gate. So um, good place here enabled within the camera to allow you to create blacklist and whitelist. And then the final tab here we've got is a real time LPR results. So this shows you um, the time and date stamp, the actual what it recognized the number plate to be and the actual captured picture. So you can see there's quite a few number plates it's been capturing as it's been going through. So now we'll show you some images of daytime and nighttime and show you actually what it's capturing.
So this is the camera set up in daytime. Um, we've just got this camera sitting on a side of a box trying to capture number plates. Um, as you'll see as the car drives through, you'll probably see a little black square markings. This was to mask out previous cars that were sitting there uh, and capturing their number plates. But the speeds are probably doing here around about 20 to 35 Ks um, as we go through. And then we'll slow this right down. Um, and then you can see the number plate clearly frame by frame as it's going through is clearly captured during that step. The next thing we'll look at here is the number plates of it actually being recorded on the camera. So you'll see as the car went through, doing the timestamp, seeing, recording what it actually thought was the number plate and then comparing it to the actual captured picture. So in this case here, it's matching it exactly how it's meant to be. If we look through, we'll do from a, a front, uh, front angle shot. Um, just to get the number plates a bit smaller on the front uh, and this is in real time once again We're doing 25 to 30 Ks an hour and then what we'll do is we'll slow it down and you can see that it's Step by frame by frame. It's capturing that number plate as it's going through And then this is it from the front end capturing and recording those number plates so once again it's doing timestamp recognition of the number plate and actual number plate that's recorded so this is it set up at night um, so it's actually pitch black drew the previous settings that we set up before um, you'll see once again here we're going here about 25 to 30 k's an hour uh, and then what we'll do is we'll slow this right down again um, and you'll see the number plate clearly in that frame step by step so in this particular case, you don't actually see the color of the car, but you clearly can capture the number plates as it's moving by. And once again, we'll have a look through here and you'll see as the car goes by, you will see number plate being recorded, timestamp and actual number plate captured. So now we'll do it from front on. So, you know, this particular time, the headlights are glaring pretty much directly into the camera. Um, so you get a lot of glare reflection and stuff back off it But because we've set this up the camera is able to adjust and pick up that number plate once again You know at 25 to 30 k's an hour and as we slow it down You can see that number plate headlights glaring to the camera clearly captured step by step as it goes through and just to verify that as the car went through we'll see um, That it captures the number plate uh, front on time stamped and so forth once again so pretty cool and clear detail as to what we're capturing here in, in those number plates. As you can see from the results, when the camera is set up correctly, it can produce amazing results with clarity. Being able to clearly capture and recognize vehicle number plates in day and night is incredible. To get best of both worlds, especially at night, combine this camera with a color view camera and capture full color at night to also get the color of the vehicle as well. So thanks for watching and remember, if you like what you saw, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and get notified of the latest videos. At EQL, we're always here to help and support your business.